students in Mar Wayne, Kit Scotty, Dewberry, J.R. Robson, and St. Jerome's from Vermilion, Paradise Valley, and Holy Rosary High School participated in the meet. Every school was allowed to bring three competitors in each event. The top three athletes in every event would then move on to the zone meet next week in Bonneville. I think everybody was just so happy that this season we get to do everything. We get to have districts. Um, we were at the comp meet last weekend. Um, we'll go to zones next week and then provincials in a couple of weeks in Medicine Hat. Many of the students involved, like Elkin Ekator at Holy Rosary, say having track and field back is fun since last year was boring without it. Now he got to show off his skills by participating in over five of the events. So I did the 100 meter, I'm going to do a 200 meter, I'm going to do the 400 meter, the, I just did the 800 meter, I have high jump, long jump and shot put. Unlike Elkin, some students needed time to adjust back to track and field after two years of no practice. But even then, all of them are grateful to compete once again and be able to represent their school at provincials. Yeah, it's really fun because like last year we didn't even have an event or anything. I mean, new people from different schools, Vermilion, Kids, Cotty, new people every day. It's really fun. I got to see, the, introduce myself, talk to them. I was like talking to some, some of them before my race and I wish them good luck. Yeah, it's really good. Like even just smiling faces in the classroom, we know firsthand how participating in sport brings kids together, gives you different relationships, helps with every single thing, and it's so, so nice to finally have that buzz back again. And that's it in this week's Beyond the Classroom. At Lakeland College, our students are challenged to go beyond the classroom, so when industry knocks, they're ready to thrive. Learn more at lakelandcollege.ca.